when we started this competition, I knew I had a disadvantage. And I know it was not my accident. <laughs> it is the reason I'm thankful to God because he has blessed me incredibly. He has blessed me with incredible kids, incredible health, incredible family, and incredible love. I have not been touched directly by this disease. Somebody on our Facebook page today said, cancer sucks. Excuse my French. <laughs> so how do you muscle up the resources to do this and get motivated to get going? Well, I have some heroes. There is a little boy that none of us know, but he's known for a trademark that goes like this. He is with us, but not in the, in the physical world. His name is Connor Cruz in Dallas. He is the son of a, an associate of mine, business associate, and he fought neuroblastoma valiantly I told you about my accent. And um, he passed away last year. So last fall, when I had been a lunch with Bill Benke, and he shared his family's life story. And that's what did it. I have always believed that you don't have to wait until something bad happens to you before you get active and get going to do something about it. So that was the inspiration. So I want to thank God. I want to thank uh, the woman that taught me, not in words, but in example, about caring for others and she flew from Houston and she's right here sitting next to Bill and that's my mom. She deserves a lot of this recognition. <laughs> she has taught me humility and she has taught me to stand up straight and believe in good causes and believe in a good fight. Then I want to thank Bill and his family, who have not only been affected by this nasty disease, but who have also incredibly become a great example that it is not what happens to you, but it's what, what you do with what happens. Thank you, Bill and Debbie. I wish I could tell you I'm a very talented scout of talent, but I'm not. I'm just a player. There is a great coach that knows how to play his cards. So he plays me with an unbelievable team. It's quite international, actually. Uh, first of all, I have, I'm blessed to have, to have Priya and Greg boys as my friends because they are relentless an unbelievable example. So thank you, Priya and Greg, for what you guys have done. So we moved from the US and Asia, now a little bit to Europe. <laughs> Philip, I kill his name all the time. I call him Philip just to aggravate him. <laughs> Philip, thank you so much for what you have done. You have been incredible. I have in mind, and I have thought of what you said uh, uh, earlier today, but he worked relentlessly hard in one of the events that we had uh, just a Saturday ago. 
and thank you so much for both of you for being here and everything that you have done. Now it's good to have friends. You, you can say that when you're being bailed out of jail. <laughs> but I think that is the attitude of my good friend Tommy and his wife Lou of this. When uh, he said, why are you doing this again? And he also reminded me tonight, okay, we're done with fundraising for a while. <laughs> Tommy just agreed to participate just because he, I, I will call him Mr. Friendship. Thank you, Tom and Lourdes, for everything you've done. <laughs> Simon is bored already. Sorry. <laughs> Erica, you guys have been carrying your warm fuzzies for 10 weeks. Thank you so much. You are incredible, and I am so glad that you're part of this story of, you know, this story of life. Um, Ella, Simon, Katie, that's why we're here. The Ella, this chapter has been amazing. Carol and Erica and all their friends, thank you. Um, last but not least, and everybody will shoot me if I were remiss to mention the most incredible member of our team. Every team needs a point guard, and you guys know it's not me. She is my woman of the year, and she has been unbelievable to make this thing happen. It would definitely not have happened without her. Kathy, I love you and thank you. I hate long speeches too, so I'm gonna go a little faster. I, this whole campaign has reminded me of a lot of life lessons. Some of them, are, we all have heard them, but they have been very important as we have worked hard for LLS and LLS's mission. Number one, there is no I in team. Number two, there is no way to do the right thing and then there is no wrong way to do the right thing. And I applaud all of our champions tonight because there are no losers in this time of competition. We have all won for LLS and for voting against cancer, so thank you. <laughs> Kathy brilliantly, brilliantly named our campaign Fernando Cares. And she set the tone for what was about to happen. When you care, you work harder. When you care, you get out of your comfort zone. When you care, you cross your ego by stepping out and doing the things that, get, that make you feel uncomfortable. When you care, you fight cancer and you move from the sidelines into action. When you care, you make every dollar count by voting against cancer. I have always known that it's impossible to be unselfish without being blessed in return. This, has, this campaign has truly helped me to learn about the God, God's amazing gift of gratitude. Somebody has been teaching me about gratitude when that person is committed to writing on a daily journal about gratitude. Feeling gratitude and not expressing it, it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. So I want to thank my team, my family, and all of you friends. When you are grateful, fear disappears and abundance appears. Wake up dawn and with a winged heart and give thanks for another day of loving. There are many little angels in heaven who are saying thank to all of us. And there are many little angels on this side of heaven who are also saying thank you. Gratitude makes sense of our past, bring peace for today, and create a vision for tomorrow. 
That's all I have to say. Gracias.